Yeah, so um, when yields are down around 370 in the States, we took some duration off. So we're neutral in duration with respect to US exposure, but we're very constructive on Europe. We're overweight um, uh, German bumps, particularly at the short term. And if you look at one of the things that we were looking for in the markets was a decoupling uh, from of, of Europe from the US. And we had the US exceptionalism, but the, the growth and inflation dynamics in Europe were weak. So we're expecting a de decoupling and we're starting to see that. So over um, over the past month, the two-year German Schatz yield uh, has diverged from the US 10-year by around 40 basis points. And we think that's got further to go. So we're very constructive on the short end of Europe, particularly Germany. And, um, and, and also in the 10-year space, we see value also. Um, in addition to that, uh, events in the UK with the upcoming budget on October 30th, of course, spreads to widen out uh, on gilts versus bunts almost to the point that we saw in October 2022 when there was a really significant fiscal, uh, potentially fiscal uh, crisis there. So we think that's overdone. Um, so yeah, we would be constructive on duration in Europe and in the UK. Daniel, just before I let you go, of course, the market focus is also shifting back towards the US as we track into this really critical election stateside. Just reading through some of your notes, you say former President Trump would be bad for bonds, but good for risk assets. Do you want to unpack and expand on that for me? What exactly do you mean bad for bonds? Yeah, so if he was to get in and have a strong mandate, and that's a big if, because obviously it's looking neck and neck, clearly he is going to be continuing his policy of cutting taxes, fiscal expansion, uh, tariffs abroad. So that's basically growth stimulus plus uh, deglobalization, and that's 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 a bad uh, recipe for for bonds. Now, we don't actually think he will have the mandate to push that through, but that is the risk. Uh, and maybe a greater risk is if um, if Harris was to win, and um, Trump was to uh, lose by a close margin, he may contest the election. That would result in a period of paralysis, and that then would be bad for risk assets and more positive. Uh, for treasuries. So it's all a function of the margin by which uh, Harris or Trump wins.